Kamala Harris isn't the only female politician who won last week, and we want to shine a light on the women who are changing the landscape of D.C. and America. Take a look. This year, a record number of women are running for Congress. 2020 will be remembered as the year women smash the glass ceiling wide open. At least 135 women will now be serving in Congress. 13 non-incumbent Republican women just won House races. Republican women are doing it all across the country this election year. It's just exciting to be part of history. The Republicans did a wonderful job of recruiting strong conservative women. This was a monumental win for diversity and inclusion. This is our moment. Cori Bush will become Missouri's first black congresswoman. Yvette Harrell becomes the first Republican Native American woman to win a House seat. Stephanie Bice becomes the first Iranian American to serve in Congress. And in Delaware, Sarah McBride will become the nation's first openly transgender female state senator. Change is always possible. The road to the White House has been an uphill battle for women. From Shirley Chisholm, who ran for the Democratic nomination in 1972, to Geraldine Ferraro and Sarah Palin, who ran as vice presidential candidates. Not to mention Hillary Clinton, the first woman to capture a major party nomination for president. But this never stopped women from organizing and mobilizing and forging forward. My job right now is to fix our democracy, to make sure that any person who wants to vote in America who is eligible has the right to vote. 100 years after some women secured the right to vote, and 55 years after the Voting Rights Act was passed, comes another barrier-breaking victory. We did it. We did it, Joe. Kamala Harris becomes the first woman, the first black woman, and the first Asian American woman to be elected as a vice president of the United States, the first woman in the highest level of government. It's been a long time coming. We let women also share in the leadership of this country. I'm so grateful. It's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, it brings tears to my eyes and, and joy to my heart. And it's also bringing lots of joy to the next generation of black and brown girls and girls all over who are finally getting this message loud and clear. You could be president. So I am thinking about the generations of women, black women, Asian, white, Latina, Native American women, who throughout our nation's history have paved the way for this moment tonight. Women who fought and sacrificed so much for equality and liberty and justice for all. But while I may be the first woman in this office, I will not be the last. And there you have it. That's, that's what we want.